Hey guys, this is Matt Beck from Gratitude Education and FreeSalonEducation.com. I'm very excited to bring to you guys another free education video. And we couldn't do it without the people that support us. We now have Freestyle Systems on board with us and we're really excited. This is a product that's great for your salon. It's gonna bring maximum profitability so that, I mean, just look at how cool they look in your salon. Think about a guest walking in, what they're gonna see first cool things like this. Also, the other great thing about Freestyle Systems is it's great for the environment. Because when you pull the blow dryer down, it turns on. When you put it back up, it turns off. You're not running it all day long. You can take breaks in between as you're working with the stylist. And that's also gonna help you move quicker and make more money in the salon. So please support the people that help support us and give you guys free education. Enjoy this video. Here's Barrett Silitano with a great style. Hey guys, this is Barrett Silitano. Right now we're just gonna start out power drying our model brook. You can see that I'm using three style systems. The great thing that I really love about this is, is it's such a lightweight product for the low drying and it really helps because the cord is suspended, which is phenomenal as a hairstylist because I'm not tripping over any more cords and there's not anything in my way as I am trying to style that guest. You're gonna see that I am going to section with either a tail comb, I'm using the end of my teasing comb right now, from ear to ear, almost as we're doing like a half up, half down style, that's how we're gonna start this up style that we're gonna do today for you. Making sure that we're grabbing our hand around it, as you can see, I'm brushing everything into my hand, keeping it nice and smooth, making sure we get the smooth texture through the front and the sides. And this is a fun little thing I like to do to get in a ponytail. You take a rubber band, just a regular old rubber band that you would use in someone's hair, and you put two bobby pins on each end. You're gonna secure the one bobby pin and then you're gonna wrap it completely around that hair as many times as you can actually get it so that it's nice and taut in the hair. And then you're gonna put that bobby pin right back in so both bobby pins almost crisscross over each other so that you get a very secure, no bumps in the hair ponytail. And this is also something I like to do. This is, you take the tail comb, as you just saw me do, and you ride it through the bottom of the hair so it just smooths out any bumps or imperfections underneath that top layer. So it just smooths everything out with having to redo that ponytail from the beginning again. Always using product in the hair, using a lightweight hairspray as we did during the blow dry. We're gonna use it the whole time during our up style as well. Right now we're gonna go through, and I clipped the ponytail out of the way and I'm gonna take diagonal sections just so that we get that bottom section nice and smooth. We're gonna take our smoothing iron on a medium temperature heat and we just wanna get it nice and sleek, nice and shiny on this bottom section. Going through with small sections to make sure we don't have any creases or bumps. We don't want any imperfections on this bottom section right here. We're just prepping the hair right now, getting it set. And now we're not gonna touch that bottom section too much at all, just making sure we brush any little hairs out of the way that do come up into my hand. I'm gonna take that ponytail in small sections, especially towards the outer edges of that, and now we're gonna go through and crimp the hair. Now a lot of people think, why am I crimping the hair? That's something that we did maybe when we were a little bit younger. This is just to add that texture in. Like I said earlier with the blow drying, I put in that cream gel to add more texture into it. This is gonna help hold this crimp in as we go through and do this style so that it's set into the hair and holds the crimp in as much as we need to. It's almost like a ribbon effect that we're doing with the hair, something fun to add the texture. And you're gonna see as we go through and do the final style, why we did the crimping to begin with. Again, spraying with that working spray, making sure we're brushing it through, getting through every hair, not so that we don't have any knots, and that the working spray is completely saturated through on each level. Holding that crimper, don't be afraid to hold the crimper a little bit longer especially if you're taking a little bit of a thicker section. I'm working towards the middle now of the ponytail. So I'm taking a little bit of a thicker section. You're gonna see me clamp that down with my left hand. If you need to clamp it down, 
You can do that as well when you have a thicker section just to get a little bit more of a crease with the crimper. And as you get toward that very tail end of the hair, you can go through it really fast with the crimping iron because that is a little bit of the thinner section. So you're just gonna go through really fast and crimp it down. You do wanna be careful that you don't take too wide of a section. If your client or guest or model has really coarse hair, go with a thinner section. This is gonna be the longest part of the styling. The style itself is very simple and easy to put up. We're just going through and really getting the hair nice and prepped so you don't have to take as much time when you're in the salon doing this. This could be something that maybe you hand off to somebody else, maybe you go through and you have somebody prep it for you and then you come in and finish the style for, you, for them. Or you just go through and power dry, like I said, like we showed earlier, and then go through and crimp it and it's a very easy style. You wanna make sure those ridges are nice and even, that you're not leaving any straight hair in between. So you're lining up the first ridge with the last ridge. And then going through, we're almost done here. Taking one of our last sections. I believe this is our second to last section. You can see again me clamping it down with my other hand just to add a little bit more pressure to it. And sliding down. Moving a little faster as we go towards those ends. And you can see as I clipped that hair away with the ponytail, I didn't use a claw clip or anything like that because I already have it nice and smooth in the front section of the ponytail. So I don't want to leave any creases or any bumps in that front section since we did work already on getting some of the bumps out with the tail of my comb. And again, last section. light spray right now again with the working spray just to make sure we don't have any flyaways and then I'm just gonna take my brush you can use a comb you could use a dressing brush you could even use the teasing brush just to brush it out like I said we wanted to put this crimp in there so we had the texture in the hair I like the fact that the crimp crimping iron on the outside you can see has a little bit more of the ribbon effect and as we get towards the center of it it's not as much now we're going to go through and we're going to do a wrap it, twist it slightly and then wrap it into the bun. This is why we crimp this because it's very, it's my version of the sock bun, which is something really fun that a lot of people are doing right now. But you don't necessarily as a stylist need to put the sock or the stuffing in there. You can just put the texture in the hair and wrap it around. And you can see I'm very lightly twisting that hair into the bun. But I'm also taking the bobby pin. I'm using bobby pins, not hair pins, just to secure it. And I'm grabbing it with the tail of the bobby pin and then just sliding it right in so that the bobby pins are not noticeable. You do wanna make sure using bobby pins that you are using the same color or a very similar color to your client or guest's hair. And you can kind of mold this and sculpt this to how big you want it. Say you wanted it a little bit bigger, that's why the crimp's in there. You can almost piece it out a little bit more. Again, taking that tail of the ponytail, making sure that's the most important section of this ponytail. You wanna make sure that's nice and secure down so you don't have any little pieces flying out of the, tip, out of the sock bun. is really great for really anybody any age I have a lot of people coming in asking for prom dues like this and then you have clients who want it for their wedding or if they're a bridesmaid or honestly even if they're just going out for a night out on the town it's a, it can be fancy it can be casual you can really do a lot with this kind of style it's something that could be ageless really so now we're just gonna go in and we're gonna finish that last section and you're gonna see I'm gonna take the tail of my brush again, 
and I'm gonna go diagonally down to the corner. I'm gonna show you as we turn to the side. There we go. And we're just gonna brush it and clip that left side out of the way. We're just gonna work one side at a time. This is why we went through and smoothed this section because we want it nice and shiny, nice and sleek. I'm gonna spray with a little bit of a firmer hairspray right now, just so we can get that, those little baby hairs we wanna make sure are nice and smooth up against the section as well. And we're gonna wrap that to the opposite side that it falls in. And we're gonna take just a hairpin right now and place that in front so that we have that nice, shiny, silky piece right in the front of the hair. So it almost kind of cascades over the texture that we put in there with the crimping iron. Taking the tail end of that again, just the tail, we're gonna put a bobby pin in the rest of the section, we're gonna use hairpins. Spraying again as we're going through. And then letting down that last section. Same thing we did with the other section, taking a little bit of a heavier spray. Spraying always in the way that the hair is going so that you're not blowing the cuticle out any more than it needs to be, especially if you want something nice and silky and shiny. Combing it up, molding that front piece to how you want it to look. If you want it a little bit thicker like I did, taking the hairpin and just popping it in the bottom. You wanna make sure that you have something nice and secure underneath when you do use hairpins. That's also another good reason that we put that crimping in the first section of this bun. And now I just have this tail and a little trick I like to use is almost taking it and tucking it in you're gonna see me do this in just one second. Still making sure it's nice and smooth. Taking the tail of either my comb or a brush and tucking it in to the bun so it's almost non-existent so you can't see where the start and the end of this section begins and ends. Just taking a hairpin and popping it in there so that you don't see the tip of it. And now taking our firmer hairspray. Making sure we don't have any pieces out of place. And there's our final style of my version of the sock bun. Something really easy you can do with any client like we said before. To see more of our educational videos, you can go to freesaloneducation.com as well as gratitudeeducation.com. And we look forward to uh, having you guys come in and check out some of our videos on our website.